to conduct a Black Dyke Band in the world premiere of Peter Graham's New York movie, please welcome once again Nicholas Charles and narrator Dale Gerrard. The final reel is whirring its way to a flickering conclusion. A tale of love and laughter, death and despair. Who got the gal? Who killed the guy? It's the same as last night and the night before. Soon the picture house doors will spill their contents of lovers and loners onto the sidewalks of the east side. It's been a heavy day. It's time to grab some sleep. Before long, the city will stir again. And when each new day sends fresh rays of hope streaming through the windows of the apartment blocks, who will wake with a starring role? Set that first reel up again. Maybe this time there'll be a new ending. The city stirs, commuter trains clattering in from the suburbs. heavy on the Upper East Side, each passing second pecked out listlessly at the piano keyboard, the emptiness of the day absorbed in the inky columns of yesterday's news.
A brisk wind is blowing down Park Avenue as a nanny scuttles by, pushing a baby carriage into the gathering storm while its precious cargo slumbers on, oblivious. <laughs> has a familiar feel to it. Its characters play out their lives against the backdrop of a great metropolis, where success is bounded only by ambition, yet failure is very much in the script. The lucky ones will while the day away until nightfall, when the curtain will rise again on their evening's entertainment. Some will dig deep for a few dollars with which to drown their sorrows into the small hours.
And as the sun casts fresh rays of hope through the windows of the apartment blocks, the city stirs once again. Peter Graham's New York movie, receiving its world premiere here at the RNCM Brass Band Festival, performed by the Black Dyke Band, conducted by Nicholas Childs, and narrated by Dale Gerrard. So please, let's welcome Peter Moore to the stage, along with our narrator, Dale Gerrard, and Nicholas Childs, to perform Peter Graham's Radio City. The heat had been splitting the sidewalk all day long. Now, after sundown, there was still no end to it. I slid a finger under my sweat-soaked collar and tuck another slug of bourbon. I was gonna need it. Outside the bar was a world full of misery. Broken homes and faded dreams. Petty criminals and big-time racketeers. Somewhere a jukebox was playing. Sirens wailed with a sad regularity. It was the music of the city and I was getting tired of its tune. I was sick of this town and all its sordid secrets and yet there was no escaping it. I grabbed my hat from the bar, drained my glass, 
and stepped out into the night. There was work to be done. With that familiar sound ringing in our ears, we welcome you to another night of the best in big band music. This is the National Broadcasting Company coming to you from the smart, spacious settings of the Cafe Rouge Hotel, Pennsylvania. We have a full house here tonight in downtown Manhattan, the beating heart of New York City. On this evening's program, we invite you once again to listen to the music of America's number one band leader one of our finest composers and arrangers, the dance sensation of the nation. The lights may be going out all over Europe, but we aim to keep the home fires burning with music to warm the heart. So stay tuned wherever you are, as we welcome the boys in the band and Mr. Glenn Miller.
Welcome to Louisville on this fine, sunny afternoon. All eyes are on Churchill Downs as the runners and riders make their way round this famous old track. Every horse a thoroughbred, but only one a winner. Yes, folks, it's Kentucky Derby time, the most exciting two minutes in sports. Who will win this year's The Run for the Roses? We'll know soon enough as the horses take their place at the starting gate. On the stand side, Vanity Fair is taking his time about it. Sea View circles once more, just to be sure. Now they're all in. The start is happy, and they're away! Peter Moore was the trombone soloist, narrator Dale Gerrard in Peter Graham's Radio City, performed here at the RNCM Brass Band Festival with the Black Dyke Band conducted by Nicholas Childs.